I'll never forget that first day at Pitt. Me and my father worked a 72 hour shift, then we walked home, 43 mile through snow in his bare feet. Huddled inside his clothes made out of old sacks. Eventually, we trudged over at Phil until we could see the street light twinkling in our village. My father smiled down at me through high school, hanging up his nose. Nearly on now, lad, he said. We stumbled into the house and stood there, freezing cold and tired out, shivering miserably in front of me, the fire. Any road, my mum said, cheer up, lads. I've got you some nice brown bread and butter for your tea. Eee, my father went crackers. He reached out and gently pulled my mum towards him, bit throat. You big, fat, idle, ugly white, he said. You great, useless, spawny-eyed, parrot-faced wazzock. He had a way with words, my father. He'd been to college, you know. You been out playing bingo afternoon, instead of getting me and this lad some proper snack ready for his tea. He explained to me, poor little purple-faced mum. And then turning to me, he said, Arthur, he could never remember me name. He's here for crown, nick down chip all and get us a nice piece of haddock for his tea. Man cannot live by bread alone. He were a reek to me, father. He said as old working folk should have some dignity and pride and self-respect. And as how, they should come home to something warm and cheerful. And then he threw me mum on fire. <laughs> we didn't have tellies or shoes or bedclothes. He made his own fun in them days. Do you know, when I were a lad you could get a tram down in tip town, buy three new suits and an overcoat, four pair of good boots, go see George Formby at Palace Theatre, get blind drunk, have some steak and chips, bunch of bananas and three stone of monkey nuts, and still have change out in a farthing. With lots of things in them days they haven't got today, rickets, diphtheria, Hitler, and my, we did look good going to school with no backsides on us trousers and all those little heads painted purple because we had ringworm. They don't know they're born today.